Good morning and welcome to the Beacon Morning Prayers today. Um, I'm Alison, uh, for those of you who don't know me, part of the Beacon. And today we're going to be praying from one of the passages for today, which is Matthew 7, 21 to 27. A very well-known passage um, about the wise man building his house on the rock. So let me start. Matthew 7, 21 to 27. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house upon the rock. The rain came down and the storms and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundations on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like the foolish man who bought, built his house upon the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell with a great crash. Jesus has been giving the Sermon on the Mount before this passage, explaining to the people how to live and behave. Hearing Jesus' words alone is not enough. It's essential to put them into, into action. I don't know what lo lockdown has been like for you, whether you feel as though you've been battered by the storm or storms that you weren't expecting, or maybe the storms are only just beginning with, the, with work, financial difficulties or illness as lockdown is being eased. In this passage, Jesus tells us to trust him as the rock in our lives and to build on him and his teaching. Some of the words he says are not easy. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Don't store up treasures on earth, but store up for yourselves treasure in heaven. Do not worry about your life, what you'll eat or drink, or about your body what you will wear. Is life not more than food and the body more than clothes? Do not worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. If you're already in a state of worry, hearing these words can be really difficult. Maybe you're thinking, how can I let go of these things? Everything is about to fall apart. But Jesus tells us to do just that. To come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So let's pray for ourselves now. We're going to have three, three sections of prayer. For ourselves, for our city and nation, and for the world. After I've prayed, I'll leave silence for you to add your own prayer. And then I'll use words from the songs Tremble at the end of each prayer. So Jesus, we come to you in our time of need. Thank you that you are our rock and you are strong enough to hold us up no matter what's happening around us. Thank you that you are in the middle of the storm with us and you have promised never to leave us or forsake us. Lord, you know how difficult it is not to worry about what's happening, but we choose to trust you in your word. Thank you that nothing is impossible for you. And so we bring our problems to you now and ask that you would show us the way forward. Amen.
peace, bring it all to peace, the storm surrounding me, let it break at your name. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, you silence fear, and we're thankful. Amen. So now we pray for the city and the nation. Lord, we pray for the storms surrounding our city and the nation. We pray for healthcare workers, care workers and support services. Strengthen them and give them courage and resilience, especially in those places where there is a resurgence of COVID-19 cases. We think particularly of Hillingdon Hospital today, where many sta staff are self-isolating. We pray for health workers in and around Stoke. Bring your peace and calm their fears. Lord, be their rock and enable them to stand. Breathe, then call these bones to live. Call these lungs to sing. Once again, I will praise. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, you silence fear. Amen. We pray now for businesses in Stoke and across the country. Lord, for those who are fearing the worst, we pray for your intervention and your provision to keep them functioning. Lord, we ask that you would protect jobs and give people hope. We ask that you would rise up, you would raise up new initiatives that would stand in the midst of these difficult economic times. Lord, be their rock and enable them to stand. We pray for restaurants as they begin to open up. We thank you for the financial incentives the government is giving to help in their recovery. Lord, may it be possible for people to take advantage of their opening, but to be sensible in maintaining safety from COVID-19. Lord, would you bring hope where hope has almost been lost. Lord, be their rock and enable them to stand. Peace, bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me, let it break at your name. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, you silence fear. And we're thankful. Amen. Now we're going to go to pray for our world. Oxfam reports that 12,000 people a day could die from hunger rather than COVID itself in the coming days. So we pray for all those countries where COVID-19 still has a strong hold, especially in South America. Lord, help those in power and authority to make wise and godly decisions, to help bring COVID under control and to help their people. Lord, we pray for ordinary people, for all those who have been bereaved and traumatised, for those who are struggling to find food, and who are in financial difficulty. Lord, we ask for your provision, both from others around the world, but also from your supernatural resources. Peace, bring it all to peace, the storm surrounding me. Let it break at your name. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, you silence fear, and we're thankful. Amen. Lord, we pray for Hong Kong, for your protection as they fight for their right to remain a democracy against the might of China. Lord, have mercy upon them. Help them in their struggle. We pray for your angel armies to be on the move and fight for them 
and we pray for the international community to stand and fight with them too. Lord, help us to take a stand against evil, even if it means difficulty for us. Peace. Bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me, let it break at your name. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, you silence fear, and we are thankful. Amen. Lord, we bring Yemen before you. You see how the people have suffered over the last five years due to the war, and now with COVID spreading, they're suffering even more. Lord, they desperately need more resources, food, protection from COVID and health care. Lord, you know that the UN does not have the resources to fight the famine that is upon them or to help protect them from COVID and their medical system has been devastated by law, by war. Lord, we know that you are the God of miracles, the God who calms the storm. We know that you are the firm foundation when everything else is shaking. And we ask for a miracle. We ask once more for your angel armies to fight for them and bring your peace. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, you silence fear. We thank you that your name is a light that the shadows can't deny. We thank you that your name cannot be overcome. We thank you that your name is alive and forever. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work in us. To him glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, for ever and ever. Amen. So that's the end of our prayers for today. Thank you for tuning in with me and praying, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.